All right, today I'm going to give you, in about five minutes, the whole story of the Bible, okay? And I'm going to have Shannon time me, because don't start now. And I want to do some random facts about it first. Remember, we're in the animal category. Male platypuses possess venomous spurs. They can even sense electromagnetic fields just like a fish. This is sad news. In the United States, nearly one billion birds die each year due to collisions with glass. Even though most people have seen or heard a bird hit a window, they usually think that it's an unusual event, but the statistics show the opposite. In 2016, Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus retired all elephants in their show. The animals went to a Florida conservation spot where they actually helped with cancer research as they have a special P53 gene known to help fight cancer. The things you learn here on this, I don't know what you call it. So here's what we're going to do. I'll draw here and then hold it up for you, okay? So I'm going to be tying in about five minutes, all right? So the Bible, the story, when you understand it's one story, because that's what I'm trying to show you. Going, I'm going through the Old Testament. We'll be going through the New Testament. So we call this Old Testament survey, but I want to give you how to hang all this together. Okay. I've done this in a service, but especially those of you that are listening to these devotionals, you need to understand where all this comes from, why I wanted to do it. So you had the fall, right? You had the flood. And then you had you had the scattering. The fall, the flood, the scattering. Yes? Yes. Speak, Shannon. Do you want me to start the timer? Yes. Oh, my goodness. She okay, didn't go. start the timer. <laughs> so, in in uh, Genesis 12, God steps in, calls Abraham uh, from the Ur of Chaldees, chooses him, and tells him, uh, you're, you're going to be a blessing, and, and uh, I'm going to take you to a different country and all this stuff. And then at the very end, in verse 3, at the very end, he goes, and... All the countries, all the people, all actually, it's all people groups will be blessed through you. So you got to ask, how is Abraham, this one person, the Ur Chaldees, going to bless all people on earth, all tribes, all nations? Well, he's going to do it through making a country, and through that country comes a Messiah. Okay, so what do you have to have for a country? Well, you got to have people, right? So you get uh, the 12 sons. They're driven down into Egypt. And what happened in Egypt? Hear that? I'm making a bunch of dots. They multiplied. Okay? So the Bible is, get, is it's really 12, Genesis 12, 1 through 3. The whole Old Testament is about Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Because when you have a country, you got to have people. Then you got to have, yes, land. You got to have land. And so the first group didn't make it into the land. The second group did. Joshua leads them in. And and because that, that was the, Exodus isn't just about the Exodus. Exodus is about the, God's plan getting uh Finishing God's plan of getting them into a land, setting up a kingdom. Okay, if you're going to have a kingdom, you got to have a king, right? So, land, kingdom, king. Okay. Now, finally, when you get when you are uh, First, Second uh, Samuel, First, Second uh, Chronicles, uh, what was the other First, Second Kings? That that whole history there is about. All this coming together, all right? They're in the land. They're trying to, they're, remember, you get the judges. They're all scattered. They're not really unified. Finally, he gets them unified under Saul. Gets them really unified under David. Under David, 
uh, and Solomon come come all the Psalms, the, the wisdom literature, except Job. Job's wisdom literature, and some people believe it was the first book actually written, not Genesis. So uh, then what, what happened? Ah, David and uh, Solomon die, and now the kingdom is divided. I'll just draw. Yeah. Now it's divided. You got the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom. What's happening? The, the plan, God's plan of setting up a kingdom here on this earth to be a blessing. It was, it was to be a blessing. Gentiles were supposed to, that's why you had the court of the Gentiles in the temple was supposed to, they were supposed to learn about God and Yahweh. It was an outreach post, okay? But it, it didn't work because of disunity, split. They were scattered, taken away, brought back. The prophets is all about the bad things going on. All the prophets. Is about the split. And they're trying to call God's people back. And tr so they won't, you know, uh, that's what we learned in Ezekiel. Ich Ichabod, the glory of God departed. And and so then they get back in land, rebuild the temple, rebuild the wall. 400 years of silence. And then John the Baptist shows up, a distant cousin to Jesus. And announces Jesus. So they were back in the land. The glory of God wasn't there as it had been before, but the mission was accomplished. Jesus got here on this earth, went and died on the cross and rose from the dead. Romans 9, 10, 11 will tell you how Israel's not out of the picture, that we've been grafted in and that, uh, and, and that there's gonna be a great turning. Israel will turn back to Messiah, to Jesus. It's one story. <laughs> a lot, there's books, yeah. And you go, what's this book about? You know, Leviticus is about bringing civilization into, it's sociological. It's like, here's the rules. You're not gonna do what you saw the Egyptians do. You're gonna do life this way. They were setting a culture down, okay? So that's the story in how long? Five minutes. Da, da, da. So we've been going through kind of a, not a, that's a 30,000 view, what I just gave you. This has been about a 10,000 view where I've been taking you through different books of the Bible, showing you how, uh, well, where they, where they relate, right? And, and so when you, when you read these, because a lot of people go, it's so discouraging to read these prophets. Well, even as one Jewish comedian said, <laughs> I couldn't believe, I don't think he believes in Messiah. Said, but he said, a lot of people go, well, it seems like God was ticked off in the Old Testament. He goes, well, let me tell you why he was ticked off. Because we, because he's Jewish, we were doing a lot of wrong. We weren't obeying God. That's why God was upset. He's actually, no, he's Jewish. He's known as the angry comedian. He puts on this persona. And so, uh, so when you read the Bible, if you can go, oh, it's one story. It's about Genesis 12, one through three. The whole thing, even New Testament, because how was Abraham gonna bless everybody? Through his lineage came the Messiah, okay? And that's why there's a lot of talk in the New Testament about Abraham. There's a lot. He's mentioned a lot and he's very important to the story because God called him and said, through you, Abraham, I'm going to bless all these nations. All right, let's have a word of prayer. Lord, thank you so much for this day, for Friday. I pray, Father, for uh, especially the people who are listening, that you would bless them, encourage their hearts, give them a good weekend, I pray. Give us a good Sunday, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.